how many of you have ever been overwhelmed with the thought of getting a better balance? Because aren't there a lot of things we can do? Yeah. So many things to do. And there's so many choices. And what happens when we have so many choices, we end up with a paradox of choice. And when we have the paradox of choice, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. We don't do anything. So the beauty of this assessment is if you're wondering where to start, where's the place to start on your journey towards a better balance, often it will be in the practice area where your score is the lowest. And, and here's a misconception I, I see out there a lot is this, that in order to get a better balance, we've got to do something huge. We've got to do this great big thing that's going to make a difference. Whereas how it really works is oftentimes is just doing that small thing, the small thing that will make, will make a big difference. So as I go through the 10 practices today, if you choose to nod off at any point in time, please do not nod off in the practice areas where your score was the lowest. That's where you really want to be paying attention. Does that sound fair enough? All right. Now I have one request as we go forward with our time today is this, that when I ask you a question, and you can be guaranteed I'm going to ask you a lot of them, when I ask you a question, you do not respond with the words, I don't know. And the reason I make that request is I honestly believe that you do know, that you do have your answers to these work-life questions. In some cases, they're buried down very deep, and they might take some time to excavate. In other cases, they might be right here on the tip of your brain, and you'll get the answer very quickly. There is no right or wrong way to do balance. There is really only your way. And what is right for you at any given time in your life may not be the same for the person sitting right next to you at your table. Different people, different stages of life, etc. The key is to really understand what is important to you because our balance really, our vision of that is rooted in our priorities and to have clarity around what that is. And I honestly believe if, there, if we're trying to have it all, all of the time, that that actually pushes us in the opposite direction of balance and it pushes us more towards stress. And if we're not careful, not only will we lose our mind, we might lose other valuable body parts. But what I do believe we can have in terms of balance, I believe that we can have what matters most. That we can have what matters most. And at some point in your life, balance might, might feel like or look like or want, you want it to be sitting on the couch eating bonbons all day. At another point in your life, it may be going 150 miles because you're fully engaged in a very exciting project. It really depends on who you are and where you are at any point in your life. 